All right, man, you got a customer. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, we, we want to do it, but um, here's the deal. We, we tried it in the past and it didn't work. Okay, now it gets real. What are you going to do? Well, well, step one, guys, you tend to the webinar. Step one, always, always, always agree. Hey, I completely understand the fact you tried in the past and it didn't work. Okay, now, now, now hey, let me ask you this. Other than the fact that you tried in the past and, and it didn't really work for you, are there any other concerns you have? No, dude, that's it, man. We, we, you know, we had a program. Okay, good, good. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is I want to dig. I want to find out, hey, exactly what happened. You know, and, and by the way, Mr. Customer, don't feel bad. You know, really, the only reason you wouldn't do this is because you're uncertain, and the only reason you're uncertain is because you tried something in the past that didn't work. Exactly what was it? Tell me what happened. Okay. Now, now let me ask you this: Did it kill you? Hey, what's different about this program compared to that one? Good. Well, the fact that it didn't work in the past is exactly why you should do it right now. So what I want to do is, is I want to go back and find out, get the customer to communicate. Guys, the way to handle your buyer's concerns, especially a concern about something in the past not working, is communication. Get them to communicate. Get them to actually identify what's different from that program to your offer right now. And then that being the exact same reason why they should do it. Hey, they've been trying to solve this problem before. They still need it solved now. And that's exactly why they need to move forward. Try that out.